Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the second type of shunt type clippers which is clipping below the reference level. In the previous video I have explained you how a shunt type clipper is working with respect to the clipping above the reference level. That means if you are taking a sinusoidal signal as input, a pure sinusoidal signal as input for this type of shunt clipper. This is the input waveform on x axis time and on y axis we are having vi. Now the input voltage reference let it be vr which is the voltage reference for this type of shunt clipper. Now there will be two chances clipping above part that means this part can be eliminated that is nothing but clipping above reference axis and if you are keeping this particular amplitude and keep clipping the remaining entire signal then this type of that type of configuration is nothing but clipping below reference level okay so there are two possibilities one is clipping below reference level and clipping above reference level so in the previous video i have explained you about the operation of shunt type clipper which is clipping above reference level okay so now here clipping below reference voltage or reference level okay so you know already what is the shunt type clipper and series type clipper see why i am saying is you should understand the difference between shunt type and series type clippers okay that means whenever the diode comes in parallel with the output voltage that type of configuration is known as shunt type clipper if the diode is in series with the output voltage that configuration is known as series type clipper okay again in the shunt type clipper there are two configurations one is this one clipping below reference level and clipping above reference level now let us consider the circuit diagram what is the circuit consisting of already we know circuit consists of circuit consists of so what the circuit consists of a resistor a diode and a reference voltage reference voltage so as a standard and basic construction of a refer, uh, clipper these are the three primary components we need now let us draw the circuit diagram so as i said it is having a resistor followed by diode diode must be connected in the reverse bias condition like this and it is reference voltage reference voltage we are keeping it in the same direction it is positive and it is negative but the diode if you compare the previous diagram and this one here i have used the diode in the reverse bias condition i have used the diode in the reverse bias condition that makes that reverse bias condition only makes this change clipping above or clipping below reference level okay so i will explain how this works this is v naught input voltage vi or and let us name it as diode d okay now consider the two cases possible cases one is case one there are only two possible cases first one input voltage vi is less than vr what happens this is the first case if input voltage vi is less than the reference voltage what is the status of the diode and if the input voltage is greater than reference voltage what is the status of the diode so what happens is it on or off see here input voltage means it is the cathode terminal and it is the anode terminal so cathode terminal voltage is vi and anode terminal voltage is vr okay in order to make this diode to switch on the voltage appeared at this anode must be greater than the voltage appeared at this cathode 
okay that means va should be greater than vk va is nothing but vr and vk is nothing but vi so if vi is less than vr diode is said to be in on state diode is said to be in on state because there exists a voltage difference of practically v gamma that makes the diode to on so diode comes into on state see input voltage vi is less than vr then diode is in on state when diode is in on state what is the output vr is equal to then v not is equal to vr because it is acting as short circuit voltage are same in parallel so v not is equal to parallel we are having vr now second case let us move on to the second case the second case is nothing but vi is greater than vr vi is greater than vr what is the diode status now cathode voltage is more compared to the anode voltage so there is a potential difference which is a negative potential difference then the diode becomes off in the reverse bias recondition so in the reverse bias recondition ideally we can say it is an open circuit then what happens simply v naught is equal to vi okay so in the case one i can draw the circuit diagram here so this is the diagram for case one so in the first case the diode is acting as on nothing but short circuit so it is vr and it is v naught okay so as the output voltage is in parallel with the reference voltage with the same polarities v naught is directly equal to vr but here in this case the circuit diagram is having resistor and diode is simply open circuited this is the place where we are applying the input and diode is said to be in open circuit off state so as the reverse re reverse resistance of the diode is very high simply we can replace the diode as an open circuit so that there is no current flowing through this vr so there is no effect of vr in the circuit because vr positive terminal is open circuited then the current coming from the vi is going to the output like this so that's why you can say v out is equal to vn okay now keeping these two points in mind let us draw the transfer characteristics of this particular uh, uh, shunt type clipper like this so transfer characteristics transfer characteristics so transfer characteristics means what i told you first you need to draw a vertical line and then horizontal line horizontal line belongs to the input voltage and vertical line belongs to the output voltage so exactly parallel to this axis draw the output waveform and exactly below this transfer characteristics draw the input waveform this is the input okay now so this is the origin let us mark the vr as it is a positive vr these are the two instances that are occurring v uh, vr either on the output voltage axis or input voltage axis okay so now what is the condition now if input voltage is less than vr output is equal to vr if input voltage is that means above below all these values below all these values if input voltage is less than vr what is the output output is equal to simply vr so at all these statuses at all these values we will be having only vr now when input voltage is greater than vr output is vn input voltage is greater than vr so here onwards what happens output voltage is equal to input voltage nothing but slope is equal to 1 here slope is equal to 1 and here slope is equal to 0 because the slope there is no slope 
and it is a constant horizontal line okay so if you mark the same on the output axis see this is the vr on the input signal now this is the vr so the above part is having slope is equal to 1 nothing but output is equal to input so this particular part is going to be transmitted this particular peak is going to be transmitted and the bottom part entire signal is going to be eliminated this is the way we are having the output waveform hope you understand how i have drawn here okay now tell me can you mark where is the transmission region and where is the cutting region see this particular region is cut clipping region or you can say clipping region and here transmission region okay so in the transfer characteristics of this type of shunt type clipper the difference between the previous diagram which is a uh, clipping below reference axis and clipping above reference axis is the transmission region and clipping region these two become altered these two are altered okay this is the output waveform this entire remaining bottom part is entirely clipped okay in the positive peak we will be having only half of the positive peak and remaining positive peak and as well as negative peak are going to be clipped okay this is the way to explain the operation of uh, shunt type which is clipping below the reference level is going to be explained thank you